Thank you, Mr. Ventura. How can I ever repay you? Well, the reward would be good. There is some damage to my car. It's a high-performance machine, so I had to fill it with premium. <laughs> would you like for me to take your pants off instead? Gee, let me think. Um, sure. What is up, YouTube? And welcome back to Tactical Newbie, the channel where a newbie like me gets into all things tactical. With the funny movie introductions out of the way, per usual, like we always do, let's get right into today's video. So today's video is going to be yet another low budget loadout video, but this one specifically is going to have a little bit of a special twist. It is going to be a low budget loadout feature for my uh, PSA Sabre rifle and all of the components that I have or I did install to it. Uh, optics, um, foregrip, um, and stuff of that nature. So basically what you're going to get is the same thing as kind of what's offered in the low budget loadout, which is basically be, you know, plate carrier, battle belt, and then all the components on said plate carrier, battle belt. But in here in the specific thing, it's going to be the rifle, price of the rifle, and then uh, point by point breakdown of all uh, the total price of um, all the different items that were installed on said rifle. And then have a total price for the entire configuration plus the rifle um, in total. Um, so again, it is kind of along the same vein of uh, the low budget loadout feature that I have done with uh, budget belts and, uh, not budget belts, battle belts and uh, play care systems. But like I said, a little bit of a change. Um, this video will be a little bit shorter because there won't be any 360 degree uh, view of me fit checking a rifle. Um, you will have future videos in the foreseeable future of me actually shooting the gun and shooting the rifle and stuff of that nature, as well as uh, my Glock 19X pistol. But this specific feature is just going to be a point by point breakdown of everything that is configured on it. I know uh, a, lot of your, a lot of your Gucci head type guys out there are going to kind of complain about spending money on budget friendly optics and you know it's better to buy once and cry once and all that other stuff which i tend to hear quite often in the comment section if i was made of money and i could wait around and just kind of buy these high-end items um by all means i would do so the whole point of the budget low budget loadout and featuring some of these budget friendly items is for guys like myself who have a job who have bills to pay, who have a family to feed, and half on the same scope to provide um, at least some level of safety and some level of protection and, you know, and obviously into firearms and tactical stuff, but can't spend top of the line dollars on every new shiny Gucci item that is on the market. So with all that being said and the rambling out of the way, let's get right into the video and I will see you guys on the other side. Alrighty guys, and away we go. So taking into consideration when reviewing everything thus far, this is my first official uh, rifle build or at least build out with some of the optics that I have on it. So please be considerate when taking a look at what I have to offer. But this is the PSA uh, rifle. Uh, retail price for, for the rifle within itself is $849.99. It's a 16-inch nitrate barrel. Um, all in all, it is a, a decent, well-rounded rifle just based on the uh, general reviews that I've seen online and then, of course, by just what a lot of guys have been saying across the board. So the rail within itself is uh, the uh, PSA uh, proprietary uh, lock-up rail. Essentially, it just looks to me like a, kind of like an M-lock style rail, but uh, apparently this is kind of the proprietary uh, feature that uh, PSA offers uh, with a variety of rail systems. The rifle also finishes out with a Magpul pistol grip and Magpul stock. So all in all, like I said before, the rifle is pretty well built across the board with zero complaints. From here, moving our way over to some of the assembly points, I have the 13 slot rails. Retail price is $8.95 times two, which comes to a total retail price of $17.90. Essentially, it's just your standard M-Lock rail system. Also have a kit that was retail price of $21.95. Um, all the rail kit setups are manufactured by, or at least uh, distributed by Tacticon Armament. Um, actually, most of the actual optic setup is from Tacticon Armament. 
From here, we'll take a look at the QD uh, Quick Disconnect Sling Mounts. Uh, retail price for that is $8.98. Essentially, it's just a standard uh, Quick Disconnect Rotationable uh, QD mount. From here, we're looking at the iron sights. Retail price is $29.99 from Tacticon Armament. The uh, flip-up feature is pretty, pretty awesome across the board, and I can uh, utilize this as kind of a backup sight option just in case my primary sights fail or lose zero or anything down the line happens to them. I have the uh, backup compatibility with the flip-up um, ability to be able to drop them down and flip them up as needed. I also just want to highlight real quick that as a tactical newbie, I am still growing and compounding a knowledge uh, when it comes to a lot of this uh, tactical gear setup, rifle setup and whatnot. So, uh, so please bear with me on some of the terminology. You trunk? No, but this ought to do it. I would fire you if you weren't so goddamn beautiful out there. You smell like urine. A lot. Alrighty, from here, taking a look at the RVG, which is the uh, rail vertical grip by Magpul. Retail price is $24.95. This is the only component that I did not order off of Amazon, and I did pick up when I picked up my rifle uh, from my distributor. Working our way over here to the Tacticon Armament Battle Torch uh, V2. Uh, retail price is $69.95. Um, altogether, this is a pretty decent light with a uh, touchpad setup. Um, I did kind of configure everything out to be able to uh, have obviously quick access to be able to illuminate whenever needed. Um, again, as I've stated before, um, a lot of um, a lot of this stuff I haven't really used too thoroughly. This is my first real full endeavor into the real steel application, so a lot of the terminology and stuff down the line I will learn as my knowledge base grows um, but all in all it is a good touchpad light it does uh, have a very sensitive touchpad that does allow me to both hit the button to click the light on uh, fully or hit the touchpad to be able to illuminate it at touch and then as soon as i let go of it the light goes away now of course just a heads up for everybody i am going to feature this rifle and my glock 19x down the line of foreseeable future on the range um, where i will get better acquainted with it personally about the old girlfriend thing. Should we burn the hatchet, buddy? I don't know. I mean, it was just a one-night stand, right? Wasn't even that good looking. Real dead fish, right? <gasps> I mean, she just laid there taking it like a plastic fuck doll, am I right? Oh, I happen to have married that plastic fuck doll! <laughs> Alrighty, from here, moving along to the optics, we'll first take a look at the uh, Tacticon Armament Predator V2 reflex sight. Retail price is $89.95. Um, keep in mind that a lot of the, I guess, quote-unquote review or overview of these optics um, are basically... Um, are basically done with little to actual no use on um, on this platform as of yet. Um, I basically just installed them on the last video, and this is basically just a price point overview. Um, look forward to down the line where I basically give you more in, de in detail overview of the optics and how they sight in. You know how how true they hold zero, and how um, how long they obviously last and how durable they are. Um, in the foreseeable future, once I start getting and sending uh, rounds down range and getting some training in with these specific components. At this present time, this is just kind of, I guess, more so of a showcase of just the components I have on my brand new rifle. I'm kind of proud about. Um, but I will obviously be upgrading a lot of these components down the line in the foreseeable future um, and maybe moving them around. You know, if, if these aren't really top top of the line uh, optics i can move them to my airsoft rifles or anything like that but all in all uh tacticon armament does have a good name for quality so um so we'll just have to see once i get some reps in with the equipment to see how things go Alrighty, now from here we'll take a look at the uh, Tacticon Armament Magnifier. Uh, retail price is uh, $89.95. This is the Falcon V1. I believe this is a 125 uh, magnifier. Um, again, pardon my uh, you know limited knowledge, at least on the base. This is kind of the more pivotal point for me and myself to actually really focus and hammer home on some of the knowledge and expertise on some of this uh, rifle equipment. Um, so, uh, as I've stated before, and I'll state again, just bear with me. Uh, this is more so just to guess, like I stated before, uh, showcase just more of a retail price for all the equipment and everything that I have on with it. Um, I will be doing an update overview down the line. 
And uh, from here, we'll just kind of follow up with a couple more uh, showcases on some of the other features on the rifle within itself. Um, I, as I'm now going to be stating for the third time, I uh, do expect a complete, uh, at least, overview of the rifle once I get some... Uh, once I get some shots down range, um, to be honest, I'll probably do like a thousand, thousand round review, uh, kind of highlight the pros and cons, uh, how well, uh, you know, the optics held zero, how well the rifle's doing, um, just stuff of that nature across the line. So, um, first I guess you'll see a showcase display of me shooting the rifle within the next couple videos in the foreseeable future. And then from there, uh, once I get about a thousand rounds in on the rifle, I will start breaking down some of the major uh, pros and cons uh, that kind of stand out um, for the specific setup. Um, and then also just touch on the fact, keep in mind, this won't be my only uh, rifle setup. Uh, so also look forward to seeing some more, hopefully Gucci, uh, Gucci rifles down the line. But yeah, I'll stop the rambling and uh, we'll just uh, finish out with the video. Uh, who gives a shit? I'm about to win 10 million bucks anyway, right? Are you? What are you gonna do with that 10 million bucks? And you can't say buy the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'd buy a 10 million dollar car. Yeah, good investment, but I'd pull you over. Bullshit, you could never catch me. Oh, I could never catch you. Well, if you did, I'd activate my car's wings and fly away. <laughs> I got a good feeling about this. Damn it, you burger punk! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Alrighty guys, I hope you liked the video. Of course, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what you think of today's low budget loadout video, rifle edition, as well as let me know what you think of past low budget loadouts that I've featured on the channel thus far. Like I have brought up with the uh, low budget loadout for the Cry, or not Cry, that's the Cryd X, uh, JPC 2.0. The low budget loadout feature is something that is going to kind of slow down a little bit or at least maybe uh, expand to other featured items, maybe helmets, uh, maybe packs, maybe um, other things down the line um, to kind of evolve the low budget loadout um, feature at or, you know, segment, but not necessarily keep hammering home to budget friendly plate carriers and battle belts solely for the reason for myself to where um, I don't want to get inundated with a boatload of these items and not actually be able to use them. Um, having already five plate carriers, at least on the budget-friendly option within themselves, it already limits the amount of uh, uh, repetitivity that I can um, kind of use these items. I do have my favorites, I do have my least favorites, but at the end of the day, if I'm going to buy this stuff, I'm going to want to wear it, I'm going to want to use it, I'm going to want to train in it. Um, so having just like 10, 20, 30 different types of plate carriers just doesn't seem conducive down the line and it ends up just being me spending a boatload of money on items that I'm basically not going to use or wear. Uh, with the rambling out of the way, I like to touch on the same stuff that I normally touch on at the end of every video. I have a Twitter slash X. Link is in the description below. Feel free to hit the link if you'd like to see some of the stuff that I'm posting on Twitter slash X. I also have a Patreon. Link is in the description below as well. Feel free to hit the link and uh, become a member and uh, subscribe if you'd like to contribute to the Tactical Newbie channel in any way whatsoever. But with all the rambling out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next week.